Pet of the Week, brought to you by Pet Supplies Plus of Terre Haute. Okay, so it's kind of one of those Mondays <laughs> where it's been a Monday. <laughs> and then Maggie comes in and brings this sweet, sweet boy. And um, so I'm going to try not to cry. Oh, sorry, Julie. No, I know. It's just been one of those Mondays. But let me, let's, let's learn about Frank because yeah. Frank's an older dog. And I, I hate to hear the stories of the older dogs, Maggie, because they just... Um, they just need love in these latter parts of their lives, don't they? Tell me, tell me about Frank. So Frank is a senior dog. He's probably anywhere between 7 and 10. Um, came to the shelter in January. Um, has not had any interest at all. Um, he's ready to go. He's neutered. He's microchipped. He's got his rabies vaccine and is current on um, all his other vaccines. He has some weakness in his back end. Um, so uh, we do have him on some hip and joint supplement, but he just needs to be in a place where he can actually start to build that muscle back up because sitting in a kennel is not super great for um, mobility in a senior dog. I mean, we're, let's just be honest. It's the same way with human beings. Exactly. That's what happens when you get older, if you sit, you yeah. just fade away. Right. And, right. and that's what happens to these senior dogs yeah. if they don't get the love or the attention or the home. See, here I go. Oh, you're going to get me crying <laughs> now. I mean, but it just it's breaks just my be... heart because he's so sweet, you guys. He's so loving. If you live in a maybe an area with a farm <laughs> or a yard it's space, okay. <laughs> he's, he's got a new friend that just walked in. Um, you know, it would be a wonderful <laughs> thing to give him okay. that love okay. and that space because he's been so kind. Yeah, and he does. He, he's still really energetic. That's the thing. He'll run in the, in the yard. Um, he does a little dance. I can get him dancing on the front end. It's so cute. Um, he's really a loving, he'd be a great loving companion. He just needs somebody that is willing to take in. A senior dog knowing, you know, he's he's ha got a finite, you know, um, set of time. He's, you know what? He left. sees himself. He does. Yeah. He sees himself yeah. right now on okay. the monitor. <laughs> no, no, That's no. you, baby. Come on, buddy. That's you. I know. See, That's that's how you. handsome you are. Well, so we've got somebody watching maybe that thinks, I want to do something for this yeah. sweet boy in his latter years. What would they do? Um, so he should be on the website, um, and you can put in an app. Um, through the website. If not, you can come in when we're open and do a paper app. And even if you're not ready to full-time commit, if you wanted to take him home and foster him, that would be amazing. Because just as long as he can get out and, and have somebody, you know, kind of work with him and, and get him just moving a to, little yeah. bit, moving around His a little, little hip, bit. Hips are just so weak because he sits in yeah. that crate all day and yeah. it just, oh my gosh. It just yeah, kills me. I know. So if somebody's watching right now and you think you could do that and give him some space to move and be free, you'd be doing this sweet boy a great favor, and he is so sweet. Maggie, thank you so much. Sorry I get a little emotional. That's okay. No, I, I do too. I don't mean to, but these dogs just bring, it, bring out the best in all of us. They really do. I hope they'll bring out the best in you. Hours of operation are on the screen. You can visit. You can find out more about Frank. Frank, you've been a good boy. You've yeah. been a real good boy. All right. Stay with us. we got more to come on Good Day Live. Oh.